a very good morning to all of you welcome to a and b exam forum student in today's session we are going to see the questions related to general awareness uh, which were asked in ssc chsl 2024 exam and uh, we are going to see all the questions related to today's date that is 1st july 2024 okay so let's begin the session without wasting your time so as usual the disclaimer all these questions which you are presenting in this video are based on feedback given by the student and uh, the important thing is that wording of the question might not be the same as you can also know that this is memory based basically okay and uh, this is the first day of exam so we are not including the previous day okay so let's uh, see the summary of the exam uh, today is 1st july 2024 and uh, the exam held in three shift what the questions which we got and uh, the difficulty level of exam people were saying it is easy to moderate and the only challenge is as usual the time management and the speed okay so let's see the first question that was asked uh, in this particular exam the question was uh, from the history who was the founder of R.A. Samaj and this is a very easy one and everybody knows that it is Dayanand Saraswati okay and as you know uh, this R.A. Samaj was founded in year 1875 and basically it promotes values practices based on the Vedas okay so other few uh, religious organization you should know uh, the Related one is Brahmo Samaj, okay. Brahmo Samaj, you should know who is the founder of Brahmo Samaj. It is Raja Ramohan Roy, Raja Ramohan Roy, triple R, Raja Ramohan Roy, okay. The other important uh, organization is Servant Society of India, okay. Servant Society of India, okay. It was founded by Gopal Krishna Gokhale. Okay, so you can also write down with us. Okay, so if they ask the similar uh, questions, they can ask these questions. Okay. The next question was who was the author of book Brihat Katha Kosh? Okay, a very difficult one. Uh, those who uh, just are the beginner in this particular exam this is very difficult for them and the answer was Harisen Harisen is a very popular author and uh, he was basically a Jain scholar and uh, basically his uh, stories his book compiled uh, has lot of stories in it okay uh, quickly coming to the next question without wasting the time Sankhala is a religious festival of which state okay so you should know which festival is related to which state and uh, this is related to Alwar Rajasthan okay and uh, it is basically celebrated with traditional ritual and it is a basically a rich uh, show rich cultural heritage let's see other festival uh, like if you go to Gujarat okay there you will find Garba okay and if you go to Maharashtra, there you will find Lavani. Okay. And if you go to Punjab, it will be Giddha and Bhangra. Okay. Giddha is generally performed by ladies and Bhangra is performed by gents. Okay. Bhangra. Okay. These are the few uh, dance form basically. These are not religious festival. Okay. Uh, let's see the next question who is father of ODC dance again a very difficult one uh, and those who are preparing very hard they know that the Kelucharan Mahapatra uh, is the father of ODC dance and uh, if you see the other uh, dance form who are notable in this first one is sorry first one is Kathak okay Kathak is also a dance form okay and the very important personality in Kathak is Pandit Birju Maharaj okay so Birju Maharaj is related to Kathak and the second uh, one is Kuchupudi uh, which is a dance form in Andhra Pradesh Kuchupudi okay Kuchupudi and uh, in this personality is Sidhendra Yogi okay 
Siddhendra Yogi. All these form the static part. So there is no go, just you need to mug up. Okay. Siddhendra Yogi is the right answer. Let's see the next question. Who is author of book Natya Shastra? A very simple one. It is Bharat Muni. Okay. Bharata Muni uh, is the author of Natya Shastra. Actually, Natya means you know it is dance and Shastra means something related to the book. Okay. So all the performing art like in theater, dance, music, all were given in this. Okay. So student, uh, for those who have uh, exam in upcoming days, they should uh, learn all the books and author this is one uh, field they they can have one questions from this particular topic okay coming to the next what is the land given to brahmins in chola society called okay so generally in historical point of view uh, lands are given to brahmin because they are upper caste and these uh, are superior to other okay so in that sense uh, uh, that uh, land is known as Brahma Deya. Okay, Brahmins Deya Deya means it is given. Okay, Brahma Deya, the land which are granted for the religious and educational purposes. Okay, so uh, like if they, if they want to perform some puja or they want to uh, build some gurukul, so Brahma Deya means the land which is given to Brahmins in Chola society. Okay. Coming to the next, uh, a very simple one, and all of you know that the dream theory of wealth was given by our grand old man, okay, Dada Bhai Naroji is also known as grand old man of India, okay, and as you know, uh, uh, he has basically highlighted the economical impact of British uh, rule on India, okay, and uh, he is very, uh, one of the you can say it, important personality in the Congress. Okay. Let's see the next question. It is from the geography. In which state is Chilka Lake located? Okay. Uh, Chilka Lake is a lagoon and it is in state of Odisha. And uh, as I told you, it is the largest coastal lagoon in India. Okay. Coastal lagoon is Chilka and it is second largest in the world. That's why they have asked. If you see other uh, lakes like freshwater lake, freshwater lake, you should know it is Wooler and it is in J and K, Jammu and Kashmir. If you go to uh, salt water, okay, or saline water, the largest lake is Sambar Lake, okay. Sambar Lake, it is in Rajasthan, okay. And if you see the longest lake, longest lake in India, more specifically, it is Vem Banand. Okay, Vem Banand Lake that is in Kerala. Okay, so the fresh water is in Wooler, saline water is Sambar, Rajasthan, and longest is Vem Banand, Kerala. Okay. Coming to the next question, it is from the Indian polity, a very simple one, fundamental rights are the part of its section, okay? And as you know, it is part three of the Indian constitution. And uh, as you know, it has article from 12 to 35. And basically these rights ensure the civil liberty to all the citizens, okay? And if you see uh, the other uh, like articles, like if you see the article 17, it is abolishment of untouchability okay untouchability okay i'm not writing it fully then if you see article 18 it is abolishment of the titles okay like honors uh, britishers given on that abolition was given in article 18 after that article 19 it is freedom of everything Freedom of everything means you can make your home anywhere, okay, you have freedom to speech. So freedom of speech and all these uh, freedom is given in article 19, okay. So these are the few articles uh, that we uh, think it is very important for the exam. Next, DS, uh, DPSP, that is Directive Principle of State Policy are part of which section? It is part 4 and uh, as you know, it contains the article starting from 36 to 51 
and uh, it is basically to create social and economic condition which citizen can lead a good life okay then article 21 okay as i told you there are very important article like 17 18 19 20 21 okay and 21 is basically protection of life and personal liberty okay so these are very important articles 17 18 19 20 and 21 okay all this you should know okay protection of life and personal liberty uh, coming to the next is a uh, very simple one how many houses does indian parliament have uh, you know there are two houses one is uh, the upper house and lower house the upper house is also known as lok sabha house of people and rajya sabha is council of state okay so council of state and uh, rajya sabha and lok sabha is the correct answer a very simple one again when does financial year starts everybody knows it starts from 1st april to 31 mm. march okay and student remember it does not start with our calendar like uh, first uh, first jan to 31st march it is not like that our financial year begins always is april 1st to 31st march of the next year okay Coming to the next, uh, it is again the personality related question. Asad Ali Khan is associated with which musical instrument? And uh, it is Veena. Okay, so he is one of the prominent in Drupad music. Coming to the next, Languid dance is a folk dance of which state? Okay, so again, uh, we have already seen one question from the dance. Okay, so dance form is also important topic uh, which is very common or peculiar topic uh, nowadays people are asking and it is in the state of Uttarakhand okay and it is generally performed by men okay and it is basically acrobat uh, type of dance acrobat means they jump from one to another and show the flexibility of the body okay coming to the next uh, I don't know whether this question was asked or not but uh, people are saying like Teri Mitti Me Mil Jawa is from which film uh, and uh, it is from the film Kesri uh, uh, in which lead actor is Akshay Kumar and it was basically based on the battle of Sangharai okay battle of Sangharai Sara Grahi okay and uh, where if you have watched this video uh, watch this uh, movie basically like few uh, soldiers were there which are able to uh, conquer their place from the Arabians okay so this movie is all about that the battle of Saragrahi is the right answer coming to the next uh, which is the classical dance form of uh, Assam state it is Sataria as everybody knows okay and uh, let's see the next question like uh, who is father of Carnatic music okay so as you know it is Purandra Das, okay, Purandra Das, a very famous personality in Carnatic music. If I ask you who is known as Queen of the Carnatic music, okay, Queen of the Carnatic music, you should know that it is Subba Lakshmi, M. Subba Lakshmi, okay, Subba Lakshmi, Miss M. Subba Lakshmi is the Queen of Carnatic music, okay. Coming to the next, uh, which is classical language uh, that is referred as Italian of the East? Uh, why Italian of the East because it is very uh, simple and melodious and very sync with every uh, you can say it is uh, terminated by uh, like vowel okay so if you have if you know Italian language every word is ends with vowel similarly in Indian language Telugu okay Telugu is uh, known as Italian of the East because the every word in the Telugu language and with vowel okay 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 next is who is the current chairman of NGT this is National Green Tribunal and everybody knows that it is Justice Prakash Srivastav and uh, the other thing you should know that it was established in year 2010 to handle environmental cases okay so the appointments uh, which happened recently that you should 
no coming to the next is uh, which country hosted 2023 world cup okay we have already one video on sports current affair and uh, everybody knows that last year india has hosted uh, this world cup unfortunately they've lost it okay coming to the next uh, who won the gold medal in junior shooting world cup again a very difficult one sanyam one person is there uh, i don't know but uh, he has won the world cup in shooting okay quickly moving to the next these are some miscellaneous question how many boxes are there in chessboard okay so uh, apart from uh, the current affairs you should have general knowledge okay a chess board has 64 uh, boxes and there are eight rows and eight columns and total making of 64 squares let's see the next question nehru monitoring institute is located in which place okay so all the places uh, again you need to look up once again and the answer for that question was uttarkashi uttarakhand okay let's see the next question who is the founder of gramin bank okay why it is very uh, uh, important question mohammad junis was the right answer and the second thing is that it was made by nobel peace prize La laureate okay and he is one of the pioneer in microfinance and microcredit and uh, he was considered as founder of gramin bank okay mohammad yunus a very good question the first photograph of indian king was of which king and it was rashtrakut king that is dani nudu okay dani nudu king dani nudu rashtrakut and uh, since uh, the photograph of indian king uh, plays a very important role in indian history so in that way this question is very important so all the first and last thing that uh, related to the indian history you should know at least coming to the next who is the current cic chief information commissioner of india it is shri hiralal samrit okay samarit or samrit and uh, basically he oversees the implementation of rti the other important uh, current you should know is chief election commission uh, current is shri rajiv kumar okay <coughs> sorry and if you see cvc it is praveen kumar shrivastav pk shrivastav praveen kumar shrivastav okay coming to the next question which is the highest peak in eastern ghat okay again uh, Uh, what i am looking that people are telling that araku uh, is the right answer but uh, araku is a value uh, if you go to uh, textbook it is mahinder giri okay mahinder giri which is in mahinder giri uh, which is basically in odisha and uh, this is the highest peak i don't know how araku has come okay just uh, go all the highest and lowest peak okay and uh, sorry i forgot uh, this is the highest peak and the other highest peak if i ask in western ghats okay and that is anamudi okay anamudi anamudi in western ghat western ghat anamudi and it is in kerala sorry for my writing kerala okay so that's it so uh, we have try to compile all the questions what we got and anything other question we have missed you can write in our comment box we will try to include in the upcoming video okay thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day